Huduma Kenya program is an initiative by the government of Kenya that aims at transforming public service delivery to its citizens by providing easy access to various public services at a one-stop shop. The one-stop shop known as Huduma, which means service in Swahili language, is part of government plan to fully digitize and ease government service processes and reduce the time taken to offer the services. So annual rates yako ni 7,800. Outstanding yako ni 10,412. After the penalty, 95 waiver, limebaki 7931. Okay. So, okay. so, so for bank. Okay. And this is one of our key installations that uh, we have a lot of touch. As you are aware, Odomo Center Kenya is an initiative by His Excellency the President, and he was here in person to officiate the opening ceremony way back in 2014. The first Huduma Center was launched in Nairobi in November 2013 by His Excellency, President Uhuru Kenyatta. This is the promise of a digital government of radically eased access to public services and a one-stop shop for government services. Currently, there are 40 Huduma Centers across the country located among other places in Nairobi, in various county headquarters. According to the center manager, Mr. Nicholas Kijuba, Huduma Center Kisumu currently has 59 services which are operational. Huduma Kenya program is one of the flagship projects of uh, the current government. His Excellency the President opened Huduma Center and since then we have been offering the entire services that are, are running here. Huduma Center Kisumu currently has 59 services which are operational. Since its initiation, Huduma Center Kisumu has managed to serve over 900,000 citizens with various services as at September 2016. I came here to check my loan status. Nearly apply, but I don't make up my income, so nearly put up on the name in my but I've been helped. The strategic objectives of Huduma Centers are to transform and ensure quality service delivery to citizens, strengthen national and county government's capacity for efficiency and effective delivery of set mandates and functions spearhead youth and women empowerment in all aspects of national development, promote transparency and accountability. Some of the achievements of Huduma Kenya are convenience to customers by providing services offered by various government ministries, departments and agencies. Devolution of service delivery and more than 3.5 million people have been served countrywide. Um, innovation yet that the government has done is a Huduma Center because I thought I would be wasting the whole day today, 8 to 5, you know, running around looking for these clearances. But I'm so happy it has only taken me five, I mean two hours, and I'm already done with four of them. So I would want to thank them and probably ask them um, to look into like having all the clearances gotten here. Most of the employers currently are looking to have uh, the five major clearances for uh, most of the um, employees to be employed. So probably they would consider integrating um, all the clearances to be on one point. But uh, generally I'm, I'm wowed. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that this happened. Thank you so much. opinion they are perfect yeah they are doing well
it's not like any other government offices you go to outside there. Where yeah, people will start to just look at you yeah, until you make an inquiry. Here at Huduma Center, they are very okay. The key success factors that have led to Huduma Center's achievement of serving 3.5 million people are clear policy direction towards achieving Vision 2030, committed leadership in teams training, and leveraging on ICT. In May 2015, Huduma Kenya program was announced as the 2015 first place winner of the United Nations Public Service Award in improving the delivery of public service. Huduma Center, as you are aware, is actually rated as one of the best public service organizations nationally in this country. Globally, we all know, we have won various UN awards. Like other organizations, Worldwide, Huduma Center Kisumu celebrated Customer Service Week, which is usually held in the first week of October every year. So, uh, this is a public, uh, this is a Customer Service Week. During this week, we hope to have our one on one interaction with our clients who happen to be citizens of this county and both the internal and external, because even amongst ourselves, we have clients who come for services within the center. As in, I may have lost my ID. As much as I'm a, an officer here, I still end up seeking a service. But from the interaction, we are able to go and have a one-on-one -on -one during this particular week. Of course, it is uh, customer service currently is being celebrated worldwide. But for the Uduma centers, I'll focus on Uduma centers because we are one of the participants in that particular event. So during this particular week, we are hoping to to have a one-on-one -on -one with the, the clients, which of course we started from morning, and uh, as the day progresses, we are getting their feedback and what the experience is. Uh, of course, Uduma centers are set to transform the way services are being delivered. And uh, so far, we have set a bar up there. And of course, we are trying to match it with all the services. So the citizens who come, they are able to give us feedback. If indeed, uh, uh, what we are offering means what we have promised. And whatever we feel we are falling short, of course, we will listen from what they are telling us, and then we see which areas we can improve on. Today I came to Roma Center, Kisumu headquarters, to the I lost I. Now, this is my second time to be here, and uh, today I'm very happy with the service delivery that we got today. First, it was my experience, a good experience, to sit together with the centre manager and share a cup of tea, which I, I've never experienced since uh, this was launched. Uh, the services were also very fast. Uh, compared to last time, when there were so many people and the services were very slow. But today, we never took even nine minutes to be served. The theme for 2016 Customer Service Week was listening to our customers, and the Huduma Center Kisumu sub theme was come and experience our sharing spirit. <laughs> lakini nimepata nime, sukurani kwa Huduma Center kwa sababu nilikuja kutafuta kipande alafu amenipatia huduma nzuri nikaona ni ni sehemu nzuri kwa sababu nimeingia ofisa amenikaribisha vizuri nikapata huduma vizuri The Huduma Center Kisumu dedicated the Customer Service Week to their customers by appreciating them through sharing, listening to them by having a one-on-one -on -one interaction, and getting feedback from them in order to create room for improvement in service delivery. 